It's better to burn out than fade away. So you're, you're calling me a burnout, is that what you're saying? No, well, I heard that you applied for this job with a resume written on rolling papers. Come on. Rock stars changing, y'all. The rock star games of our childhood is gone, and the only thing that we're eventually going to have left is the memories. The memories of cruising around in Vice City, jamming out to Vice City FM or V-Rock Radio to come on, feel the noise. I, I can't sing, and I wish that I could play that song, but this video would get instantly demonetized. So who on their horrible things to happen in 2020 bingo card had Laszlo Jones leaving Rockstar Games? We've already lost Dan Hauser, co-founder and creative writer for almost every Rockstar game in 2020. And we know that Leslie Benzies, former president of Rockstar North, left in 2016. So what now? Well, now Laszlo is gone. And we actually have a reason why. In an official statement from Laszlo, the man himself, on his personal Instagram, Radio Laszlo. So if you get time, go over there and leave a comment on his latest post just thanking him for being the voice of Grand Theft Auto. So... Who exactly is Laszlo Jones? I call him the voice of Grand Theft Auto because any GTA fan will instantly recognize that soft, high-pitched voice. Or any GTA fan over the age of like 10 who's played a GTA game besides GTA 5 or just GTA Online. But Laszlo plays as his real-life self in Grand Theft Auto, and he's never actually seen in a GTA game until Grand Theft Auto 5. Aside from this concept art of him back in Vice City, Laszlo is only heard. So, who am I kidding, though? I have an actual video with over a million views talking about Laszlo and why he appears in every Grand Theft Auto game. The man is heard in every GTA game, starting with GTA 3. He's the reason that radio stations exist in Grand Theft Auto. He helped pioneer the idea of them and co-wrote all of them in the beginning alongside Dan and Sam Hauser. He's a staple of the Grand Theft Auto series. Heck, even a lot of pedestrian dialogue, that funny stuff you hear, like cheesy vaginas in GTA 4, that kind of stuff was written by Laszlo, or his company helped like write all of that. So, as I said before, he's a staple of the GTA series because any GTA fan will instantly recognize that voice, as I said earlier. It just wouldn't be GTA without Laszlo. But as with anything, I guess all good things must come to an end. This video hurts to make. We'll talk later on in the video, though, about the effect of this, whether it will have one on future Grand Theft Auto titles. But for now, let's take a look at Laszlo's Instagram post and the reason that he left Rockstar Games after over 20 years. So as I said before, this statement comes from the official Instagram of Laszlo Jones at Radio Laszlo. And he said... Getting off a plane from New Zealand in 2018, I received a phone call that changed the direction of my life. It was my sister, informing me that she has accelerated cancer. Shortly thereafter, my father had a diagnosis as well, and then my mother had heart surgery. I became the primary caregiver for my sister and spent hours each week in chemo wards, navigating healthcare insurance drama, insane expenses, late night emergency room trips, cooking, cleaning, cursing, nursing, and attempting to help a person to keep trying even as they know they are dying. I, I apologize. I'm not even, th this is hard to make. It's hard to read. It's beyond stressful. During the journey, I transferred her to uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering, which is rated as one of the top two cancer hospitals in the country. The staff care and technology at MSK is incredible. Last year, during intense chemo, she said she wanted to go to Norway before she died. So I booked plane tickets and took a very sick girl on the trip of her dreams. When the pandemic hit, it made the situation radically difficult and even more onerous in caring for someone with cancer. But it exposed and strengthened a lot of solidarity among friends, family, and neighbors you used to barely speak to as... People rally to fight an unseen enemy, look after each other, and unite to get through an insanely stressful and challenging time. <clears throat> Journeys begin and end, and this one is nearing the end. Fortunately, I have a lot of love and support from friends through this. 
Uh, hopefully you can reach out and be a kind friend or stranger as it makes all the difference in the world as we don't know how long we'll be in it. So that's from the man himself. And that was incredibly hard to read. But what helps me, you know, when it comes to thinking like, okay, this is just a character in a video game. Like it's more than that. This is not only a character in a video game, but this is a character in a video game who plays as his real life self. Aside from the comedy and the way Laszlo is seen in the Grand Theft Auto games, kind of this laughing stock, which he became in GTA 5. He, he's Laszlo. He's a staple of Grand Theft Auto. His humor, his comedy. I mean, I can think back to when I I was eight years old playing Vice City in 2004. This man that I've never met, who is a staple of a video game series that's been around most of my life, in a weird way, it's like I've known this man my whole life, and now he's gone because I'm never going to hear him in a future game from this series that I love. So it's, it's kind of like losing a friend, you know? Uh, but as Laszlo said, journeys begin and they end. So as I said at the beginning of the video... We will have these memories, these memories that will last a lifetime. For me, when I got on, you know, I, I have this memory of, uh, it was summer 2006. I was playing Vice City because Vice City was just that good back then, even four years after it released. And I remember hearing... On one of the radio stations, somebody say, Rated R for retarded. And I, I, that wasn't Laszlo, I don't think. Actually, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that wasn't Laszlo. But that memory takes me back to 2006 and hearing Laszlo's voice on the radio. It's just crazy how times are changing. And apparently, Laszlo actually left back in April, and this statement is just recent. But we have another update from his LinkedIn page where he basically just describes that I worked for nearly 20 years at Rockstar Games as a director, a producer, and writer for history-making franchises, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, Bully, Max Payne, Midnight Club, and more. So he was more than just the voice of the radio. He was a co-chair of the Rockstar Games production department, and he was responsible for the in-game creative audio and video content working directly for and writing with Rockstar co-founder and head of creative Dan Hauser. I built and led teams of writers, producers, illustrators, animators, motion graphics, artists, video editors, and helped create some of the biggest and most influential media across entertainment, including the over $6 billion grossing Grand Theft Auto V. That is insane. Th this goes on, and I could read through all of that, but I don't want to bore y'all with y'all or with all that. He did say at the bottom, though, I founded Radio Laszlo Inc., a full-service production company providing creative services for radio, TV, advertising agencies, and theatrical performances. My experience in media and technology also resulted in speaking opportunities and just so much more. So Laszlo is a very incredibly talented talented man. I feel like I'm going to end up making a tribute video to Laszlo just because, like I said, this man, I'm a 22-year-old guy, has has like been a part of my life indirectly, not all the time, but when it came to like getting lost in video games, when I was very depressed as a kid, or when I was sad as a kid, or, or even as a teenager, I mean, th this man and his humor has always been there in these games that I would immerse myself in, and that change there is insane. And speaking of change, let's go ahead and talk about the effect of this that it might have on any future Grand Theft Auto. Well, being that Laszlo is more than just like the radio and the voice behind Grand Theft Auto, um, you know, being that he played roles in writing, the humor, and things like that, that might be a notable change in future Grand Theft Autos, but I think the only change will be is that we're not going to hear that familiar voice on the radio. Maybe, just maybe, he will make some sort of cameo appearance. That would be amazing. It's kind of like a call in to check in and see what's up, you know? But, uh, you know, his, his reputation in Grand Theft Auto was kind of tarnished with GTA 5 just in-game because he became the laughing stock of GTA 5. But uh, as far as an effect, I don't think it'll be a major effect, just like Dan Hauser leaving, because, uh, you know, Rockstar Games, as a creative company, will just find somebody else to replace him, and uh, it probably won't be that notable. But out of everybody who's left, the OGs with Dan Hauser, Leslie Benzies, Laszlo will be the most notable departure, being that, like I said, we're not going to hear that familiar voice on the radio anymore. I wish I could play tons of radio footage, but I just, I think it would demonetize this video. So I'm going to save that for a tribute video. We're going to see if we can put that together. So Laszlo, if you're watching this, thank you for eight years or thank you for eight. Thank you for, for 20 years of 
of 20 plus years of amazingness at Rockstar. Thank you for being a part of my life since I was a little kid. You know, I'm 22 now and I've never met you, but you've played a very influential role when it just came to immersing myself in these video games. So thank you for that. And uh, y'all, let me know your favorite Laszlo memory down below in the comments. I, I want to read through those because honestly, I'm not exaggerating. This is a hard video to make. So thank y'all for watching.